Hey guys, Wanderer here. Welcome to a new game called Jaws of Extinction. This is an early access survival horror solo and multiplayer game. Uh, it features both co-op play as well as I think eventually it's going to have PvP as well. But I think for now it's just co-op, although I could be wrong about that. Uh, this game was released originally in May of 2019, I believe and it was put into early access. However, the developers pulled it from the Steam store and have reworked it, and they are re-releasing it into early access in uh, about a week from recording this video. Big shout out to KYE Creations for giving me an advanced copy of this to check it out. So um, without further ado, we're going to be jumping into this and seeing what Jaws of Extinction is all about. So you're given the option to play as uh, multiple characters, Amy Morgan is kind of the default standard. Um, your various different characters have different attributes. Uh, this guy is a bit more strong, has more constitution, but he lacks in stealth and speed a little bit. Although, I think overall, he's got a bit higher stats total than what Amy does. Um, but uh, as far as I know, I think Amy was the first character and probably has the most fleshed out and uh, well done voice lines and stuff. So I'm gonna be playing as her and she is the recommended uh, character for new players. So let's go ahead and select that and hop right in. So you'll note that there are three different difficulties. As far as I know, what these primarily do is the Driftwood starter is kind of the default starter for first time players that haven't played the game before and they want to experience the full campaign and story of the game. Nomad is more for someone that wants to play it more like a pure survival game where you can kind of ignore some of the story elements, you can kind of skip the tutorial, you're just thrown into the world immediately, and I have to kind of find your way. Survivor is somewhere in between those two. So to give us uh, the full story experience and to introduce you all to the world, I think I'm gonna start this one, Driftwood. So the story so far, it had only been a few weeks since the first reports of infected people on the remote island of Eden Nadir. Some hoped they were isolated cases, but it was only a matter of time before the infection spread across the island. Thanatos, a pharmaceutical company, organized an evacuation to Nadir, the capital city. A giant wall was erected to contain the infection. Thanatos desperately needed test subjects to develop a cure. You were part of a selection of citizens that were taken to the nearby penitentiary island of Lockcrest. Outraged at reports of the unethical treatment of the citizens in the prison, a resistance team mounted a rescue attempt under the cover of night during a severe storm. Fleeing from the prison, the storm veered the escape boat off course, crashing into the rocky shoreline. You were thrown from the boat onto the stony shore and felt the warm trickle of blood running down your head. After crawling up the beach, you hear the fearsome growl of the infected getting closer. Exhausted and injured, you start to lose consciousness. As the world slips away, you hear the distant voice of a man. Come on then, you fungal bastards. Okay, and here we are in game. There is our character. This does feature both first and third person view. I vastly prefer the uh, the first person view myself. Uh, looks like we can sleep in the beds here, but it's probably already morning, so we don't want to sleep right now, I'd assume. There's something in my drawer. Yeah, there's some. There's a prison outfit. Okay, so we were right. We were we were a prisoner. We were taken to the island of Lockcrest to be tested upon, and stuff. It's a nice touch. She has a, uh, a pillow between her legs like that. I had to sleep like that whenever I messed up my back. I understand your pain, lady. I understand, man. Um, so yeah, FPS drops are a little little bit iffy in this area. Uh, we'll see if it clears up here in a bit. So we have a quest, which is to get dressed, open your inventory, and add the outfit to your wardrobe. I for inventory? Yes, I as inventory. Okay, so... Use, equip, transfer is right mouse. Okay, so outfit added to wardrobe, so... Is it equipped? Is it on my character? No, we currently have on still our hospital robe. Okay, and there are stats here as well. So the prison outfit has 10 thermal and heat resistance, 6 kilograms of capacity. This has 5 and 5, 6 kilograms. Okay, so we'll, uh... We'll go with the prison outfit. There's also required level here. Um, I do believe this, this isn't RPG, so there are, like, RPG elements, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, um, what all that entails, exactly, um, but I guess we'll find out as we go. 
There's some stuff in the, a couple of these. Can I just take this? Oh, the FPS loss. Come on. There we go. We got a bandage and a gauze pack. Alert integrity reduced. Taking items from a safe zone is considered stealing and reduces your the way people in the zone see you. Okay, be careful of getting too low. So stealing, if we're caught, it sounds like. Yeah, so that reduced our integrity again. Um, you know what? It was a weapon repair kit, though, and some gauze. I, I think it's worth it to, you know, take some supplies so we'll be in a better, better shape. All right, so... What does this say? Lots of wanderers here. I need to be careful. Wanderers, huh? There is a wanderer here. You should be careful. I don't think that refers to me. Um... I hear a radio. Hopefully it's not uh, DRM music. Alright, so we need to do what here? Find the WA stations. Okay, so we just got up. We were rescued and we were brought in here, but we're a dirty, filthy mess. We need to get up and go and uh, wash up and stuff. Okay, I'm not going to do anything else. I don't want to get people mad at me here. Oh my god. Watch out. Watch out for those boob physics, man. Okay, all I can do here is trade or say goodbye. There's no, like, story or anything, so... Let's go wash up, I guess. Whoa, what the... Controls are wonky there for a second. There's this guy over here, too. Um... His horse. Okay, we're supposed to find the wash stations. Where is the, uh, where are the wash stations at? There's a map here. I don't see wash stations, but it says that we are here. There's the east entrance. Um, you know what? We'll just walk around a little bit and see if we can find them. You'd think they wouldn't put them too far away. Those look like water barrels. Over there. Oh yeah, it says wash station right here. Clean clothing and showers. Okay, got it. Can harvest stuff here as well, looks like. Press F to harvest. Okay, so we got uh, potatoes and raspberries, and we can just eat those, I assume. So, you know, maybe food isn't that hard to come by. Could use some background music in this area. Though, this game is still in early access, you know. I It's just coming out in early access, so it's, it's technically very early access. Even though it did release initially um, after a Kickstarter campaign, I believe... Um, it, it was pulled from the Steam store because it wasn't, like, ready yet, which I don't know why they released if it wasn't ready. In any case, though, um, I mean, so far it looks pretty decent, you know? Like, it looks, it, it has quests and stuff. It's not like it just throws you in the world and is like, here, good luck, have fun. Uh, there's an actual story and stuff to it, so. All right, grab our soap, our soap here. Gosh, my voice is cracking. And F to interact... Wash or wash outfit. Okay, let's wash our character. Oh, yes, we are quite dirty. So we have a bar that says current hygiene. So um, hygiene is something that you need to take care of in this game. You need to keep yourself clean. I assume that affects your other stats as well and can impact your character negatively, which is cool. I like that. That's, um, you know, it's immersive. Next objective is to wash our outfits. So that was here to wash outfits. Okay, so it takes some time to do that. Um, it's going to be one of those games that has a, you know, a little progress bar where you have to wait to do things. I have mixed feelings about this. Um, it, it can be okay for looting because it requires you to make sure that you are not being attacked by things. You can't just run into a place and, like, spam the loot key. You have to actually be careful about what you're looting and stuff and how you're looting. But for something like washing your clothes here, it's just kind of annoying to have to wait 20 seconds. There's a point where, like, immersion, in my opinion, uh, goes a little bit too far, but some people like it. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, not going to complain about it too much. Doesn't bother me. Need to go and talk to Sheriff Sen. Uh, the cowboy-looking old man with the horse. Well, that was this guy over here, I'm pretty sure, that we just saw. Oh, um, 
<laughs> yes, yes, uh, we are, uh, we, we are kind of in the buff here, aren't we? Yes, <laughs> you are naked. I think Amy was the character's name. Uh, yes, you, you are currently naked. You should probably put something on. So here's all of our stats. Uh, health, well-being. Well-being can be seen as your blood count and will affect other vitals depending on its level. Hydration's obvious. Hunger is obvious. Two to three days without hydration. Seven to 14 days without food. Energy is your physical power and fuel that keeps you going. Okay, need to rest probably to restore that. Morale is just uh, how you feel mentally. Okay, so interact with people and actions in the wild. So morale is depends on what we do in the wild. I, I see. Okay, so I got it. That's um, that's our character. All right, let's talk to the sheriff again. Oh my God, those those boob physics upon uh, loading into a conversation. Sheriff Sen. Sheriff Sen. About time, Driftwood. Some interesting shader effects going on in this guy's face. We ain't got all day, so we're going to squeeze all manner of foolishness into two shakes of a lamb's tail. It's an odd saying, two shakes of a lamb's tail. I've heard that only once before in uh, Pulp Fiction from Mia Wallace uh, whenever she's talking to Vincent Vega for the first time. Uh, give me back my knife and I'll be out of your hair. Give me back my knife and I'll be out of your hair. I must be hearing things because I could have sworn I just heard myself say we don't have time for this. First thing that needs doing around here is you got to earn a buck. You seem kind of angry there, Sheriff Sin. And I just happen to have one burning a hole in my britches for whoever fetches my lost bag for me. Come to think of it, Leighton Basty keeps lost bags in his shack. Now get. Uh, who's Leighton Basty? Who's Leighton Basty? Who's Leighton Basty? Why the hell should I know who he is? Only the fastest runner this side of Hanouten. If you ever lose your crap, he'll save you a mess of trouble. Runner Shack is over by the main gate. Go on, get. Could do with a bit of trimming up on that. That dialogue is a bit of uh, empty space sometimes, though I understand why it's there. They probably had to kind of guesstimate how long to have the camera there for and haven't quite uh, added that yet. So main gate, he said, which there is a gate right there. I'm assuming that's probably it. Uh, hi, can I talk to you? Looks like a kid. Uh, June, I don't know what her name says. Jane, Jane Arbel. There we go. Hard to read that text. Um, oh, right here. It says backpack recovery runners. So if we lose our shit, we can come back here and get our backpack. There he is, Leighton Basti. So, you're a runner. Watch out, Leighton. Those tits might take your eye out. Okay, he does not have a voiceover yet. Leighton Basti, fastest runner of the sign of Hanuton. Do you have a bag for me? Got a bag for me? It's for uh, Sheriff Sen. Sheriff Sen. Nothing under that name. Is it under another name? Uh, Driftwood, maybe? Driftwood? Okay, we got it, I think. I think we're good. Alright, go back to Sheriff Sen. We got a hunting knife. Got your crap. Here is your stupid bag. Here's your stupid bag. That ain't my bag. This bag, the one that says sheriff on it, this ain't yours? Nope, not mine. What game are you playing at? Driftwood, are you calling me a liar? I ain't never seen that bag before in my life. As sure as shooting didn't stash any valuables in it. Why are you helping me? Curiosity. I like that. But be curious later. Here's a buck for your trouble. You met Ken yet? He's a sorry sack of spuds running this gulag. You'll love him. You're gonna take that hard-earned buck and buy yourself a freedom of movement permit from him. You'll find said sorry sack of spuds sitting behind his desk in HQ playing with his red tape. Ken's HQ is the big gray house. 
He's the administrator of this safe zone, but he acts like a king. But safe zones don't work like that. And boy, does that ruffle his feathers. As long as you keep working, Ken has an obligation to provide refuge, and he can't turn you away as long as you don't give him a reason. I can leave once I get this permit? Yep, you're free to make your way however you like. Okay, um, so buy a freedom of movement permit from Ken. Press the M key for more information. Okay, so there is a, a map here that has, looks like, objectives on it. I'm assuming that big question mark is where I need to go. And there is a mini-map as well in the bottom right, so it's kind of nice. A lot of games don't provide that. A lot of these kind of survival games don't provide a mini-map, and it can be very confusing where you're going and stuff. Um, some people think that's immersive. Some people think it's lazy. I don't know. Personally, I'm glad to have the map because I get lost inside a paper bag sometimes. So, yeah. So, door over here. This is a big house, man. Definitely the big, like, head honcho. There he is, Kenneth Hughes. Okay, no voice over here. Haven't we discussed this to death? Ken Sheriffson is right. It isn't enough. Uh, I didn't see. If Crossbridge needs supplies and it's a back, it's in Backwater's best interest to help them for the good of the say of all. One stick is easily broken, but a bundle of sticks is hard to break. United, we stand divided. I guess that means like we're united but apart. I am too familiar with your bundle of sticks and knowledge, Mr. Reed, but I don't see why we need to open our coffers every time another safe zone is begging for a handout. Let the other safe zones carry their weight a little. Why is Backwater being punished for being self-sufficient? Okay, so there's part of a voice over here. It's not very good, though. Um, pretty pretty poor mic quality and stuff. Uh, anyway, let's get on with it. Sheriff Sen sent me. We'll pick this up some other time, Mr. Reed. Why are you dressed like a convict? This is what I had, man. I was sent over... You know the story. I was sent over to that prison to be tested upon, you jerk. I'd like you to remedy your dress as soon as possible. Do you have a name, or should I call you Inmate? You're not my dad. I'll do what I want. I'm Amy. You seem to be having difficulty grasping the predicament that the two of us are in. It's bad enough that Sheriff Sin is dropping strays off at my doorstep all the time. But now, Sheriff Sin is heading off to cross the bridge with some of our supplies because the other safe zones can't seem to manage on their own. Not really my problem. I just want to get out of here. Don't interrupt. Every member of our community is expected to earn their key. And despite lodging for several days, free of charge, I might add, you've been unable to acquire any work. Therefore, I cannot condone your continued presence here. Dude, I was unconscious. I don't like to split hairs. But on the other hand, I can't allow you to leave. Why... I imagine you'd run and tell all your free load of friends about our little community. So unless you can produce proof that you've been a productive member. Give me my movement permit. Who told you about oh, sin? A freedom of movement permit is an official document. It may only be issued to someone that has completed a job for another existing permit holder. Surely... Even you can grasp how imprudent it would be for me to issue such a document to anyone willy-nilly. Because everything has a cost. Sometimes that cost is something intangible. Like security, logistics, reputation. Which is why a select few upstanding members of our community have been entrusted as arbiters. But first, a deed must come to fruition. And money must change hands to prove that both parties understand the cost. Did a runner job for sin literally just went to the shack and picked up his bag? Does that count? <sighs> That'll be one buck. What was the name again? 
nutcracker, uh, Amy. Welcome to Backwater Beacon. Thanks, jerk face. Man, I'm a jerk. My name is Ken too, IRL. Why does this guy have these statues and all this crap? Why is this guy in charge? They went for a very on-the-nose, uh... Kind of an asshole bureaucrat type. Answer radio. I had hit the road. Crossbridge needs these medical supplies. So I've heard. So how'd your little chat with our fearless leader go? I'm holding a permit with my name on it. They'll open the gate for you now. You're a member in good standing with Backwater Beacon. Let's see how long you can keep it that way. Seems like Ken has it out for me. Nah, let him grow on you. Only reason you're rustling his jimmies is because you're an unknown on a spreadsheet. And nothing scares Ken more than what he don't know. So, what now? Look, you're on your own now. Pick up some work and don't do anything reckless. If you're hell-bent on chaos or being stupid, I can't stop you. But I will have no regrets when it comes to hunting you down like a dog. Hell, I might even enjoy it. A little bit creepy. You can just harvest all kinds of stuff here. This is a survival game, so it has the basic, you know, harvest stuff, pick stuff up, craft stuff, all that kind of stuff. You can just harvest this tree here, apparently. You got plant sap, fibers, sticks. What can I make, or what do I have in my inventory? So I have arrows. Uh, do I have a bow? Looks like I do have a bow already on me, so I guess you can craft stuff too. Okay, so everything's here. Uh, we can make bandages, healing stuff. What's this require? Okay, that's easy enough to do. I guess we'll craft some of those. We have some healing herbs. Sounds like a good idea. Have some healing stuff on us. Uh, backpack. Do we already have a pack? We got... Yeah, we have Sheriff Sen's backpack. 35 kilograms. How does that compare to this one? Uh, this one is... It doesn't say how much it is, how much it gives you as far as, uh... a oh, 20 kilograms, so it's worse. This one is worse. The other one is a crafted leather backpack. This one is the same, it's 35 kilograms. Okay, so we already have a good one. Can make an improvised axe. We need, uh... cloth, metal, and sticks for that. It's like a melee weapon. Okay. Or maybe for chopping down trees, not really sure. There's an improvised axe, improvised pickaxe. Maybe we should make these when we can. Just require sticks and cloth. We can make cloth here too from natural fibers. I'll go ahead and make all those as I can, I guess. That way we've got some here. So, okay, uh, we've got our bow. It looked like... Well, it looked like... Um, Okay, so one is primary weapon, two is sidearm, three is melee, and four is bow. So you have four different weapon slots. Bow is your, like, I just assume probably your bread and butter, because it's, it's silent and stuff. I like the, uh, the music and stuff over here, too, by the way. Skyramly just playing all the time, I guess. Can I sit down and play some drums? Nope. No drumsticks, unfortunately. All right, so let's get out of here. We've got to go to the, uh, the the gate over here, the east gate, I think. There's two different um, big green exclamation points on our mini-map. I'm going to assume those are, um, those are where we're supposed to go. This is a job board. It says maybe I should take a look around and get familiar with the area first. So maybe after we do like the, the tutorial stuff, we can come back here and get jobs. I'm not really sure. But I believe this is the way we're supposed to go. So yeah, so far, um, I mean, it's it's already has, like, more than a lot of these basic survival games have. There's an actual story, which is cool. Reminds me a bit of Stalker. Um, but obviously less polished and stuff. 
like I said, less less polished and stuff. There were no boob physics and stalker to worry about. Looking to trade. Uh, let's see. So we can buy stuff here. What does stuff cost? $18, $56, $12,000. $62,000 for diving stuff. So you can go diving and stuff in this game. You can go underwater. That's pretty cool. Exercise outfit, $1,000 adventure outfit. So this has like more heat resistance. This has um, more thermal resistance. I guess that would be cold resistance. This has like more armor, wetsuit, quiet pain. Oh, 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 it's... um. It's, uh, what's her name's outfit? The the really large-breasted character from uh, Metal Gear Solid. Got it. Hoodie outfit. This one's, well, it's not bad. There's no armor on it. Hero outfit. Here we go. That's not too bad. I mean, it's got pretty good armor. 50% armor, decent heat, and it has more, more capacity, better stealth. This is a good one. Um, okay, so hero or heroine... Huh, they made the heroine outfit not as good as the hero outfit. I'm calling sexism, guys. I'm just calling it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's a good backpack. This has 55 kilograms, 70 kilograms. I can't... Oh, these aren't that bad. Um, 5,000 for the extreme survival backpack, which is um, 250 kilograms. That's a ton, okay, compared to the other ones. Ours has 35, this has 250. You can carry 250 kilograms. It's kind of insane. Also protects your back from uh, low caliber, mid caliber uh, gunfire. Okay, so that one is 5,000. That's my first goal. Then can I can I sell stuff? I can. I can sell cloth. What do I get? Oh, I get I get one penny per cloth. Okay, it's not very worth it for my time. Doesn't seem like. All right, so we have an exclamation point of where we're supposed to go over here. I don't know what my objective actually is. But I'm just gonna loot stuff as I go here. Can I? Nope. I tried to. I tried to hit the birds. I couldn't do it. You uh, press F and then it says spacebar. I take all. I played other games that are like that too. That is fine. We got a bottle. We got a tallow candle. There's a car up here. Can I loot the car? Hey, son, I don't really know my way around here. Well, if you follow the main road, it'll bring you right straight into my old turf. Lots of houses that have already been picked over, but there's still loot to be had. Does that help? Digging through abandoned homes? I'm your gal. Well, since we're being honest, and you're heading towards evidence of a past regret... I have a confession and a request. I wrecked my squad car a few days ago. Got the firearms out, but one of my pistols is unaccounted for. I am 90 per 80 per I am 79% certain that I left it in the trunk. I may have dropped it in the grass. Things got a little touch and go. You have no idea where that pistol is, do you? Not even a little. Okay, so we have a quest to go and find the wreck of Sen's car, which is down the road over here. Uh, we can either go this way along the road on the main road, which is a longer way around, or we can cut cross country, which I think I'll probably do. We can kind of harvest stuff as we go here. 35 leaves right in my inventory. Wonder what this stuff is all used for and how much I'm actually carrying now. I'm already up to 10 kilograms. That's kind of a lot. This stuff is not exactly super rare either. I don't think I need to go picking up absolutely everything I see on the road. Are those, those are rabbits. Can I shoot a rabbit? Can I get some meat? Come back, rabbit. 
I don't know where he went. There's a big old house here we can check out. Might find some stuff. Oops, there we go. Disturbance meter. Disturbance meter display when you are in the vicinity of infected and making too much noise. Okay, it automatically decreases as long as the disturbing noise stops. There are various stages, it looks like. So we have stage one, stage two, and then incoming horde. Okay. So don't be too loud, or else you will Let's see. draw the attention. Chest is locked and required a lock pick to open the chest. Okay. Hmm. I know not what I loot, only that I must loot. Maybe I'll find something useful. So there's a disturbance meter at the top. You need to be kind of quiet and careful. Oh, I hear them already. Hold F to access inventory. Open inventory. Okay, there's some stuff in here. I guess there's a battery and... Uh, I don't know what that is. What that's supposed to be. Got some fruit... More fruit. So it looks like, um... It looks like looting stuff makes noise, which could attract people. You need to be quiet and careful. And not make too much noise. Anything down here? Literally, like, absolutely nothing down here. Okay. Not very realistic, but hey, whatever. Okay, I think they're no longer detecting us. Lockpicking level 6 required. So there are various levels of chests that you have to have higher level lockpicking to unlock. What is that? Sewing kit. Brass pot. I, again, half this stuff I probably won't want or need, but whatever. I'm picking it all up for now. I'll dump stuff whenever I... Oh, look, we have uh, lockpicks. Okay. So I don't have level 6 lockpicking yet, so I... Yeah, level 6 is required. We don't have that yet. Was there another one? This looks like a gun case, but there's nothing in it, so unfortunate. Maybe, Maybe I'll some find meds. Something useful. Insect repellent. So insects are an issue in this, huh? A hair dryer. Well, you know, our hair does look kind of crappy, I'm not gonna lie. Could have used a hair dryer this morning. Would have been nice after that shower. Wouldn't be all frizzy now if we had a proper hair dryer. Gotta look good in the post-apocalypse, you know? Cigarettes. I know it's getting kind of dark for you guys. We do have a, uh, a kind of a light here. It's like a green, it's, it's like a green fallout light as well. Which, uh, LOL. Okay, um. Let's see. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I think that's everything. It's getting dark and we have an actual objective to do, so let's go and try to do that objective. I don't know how severe it is if you're out after dark and stuff, but I'm assuming you probably don't want to be out after dark. Oh yeah, I hear guys around. There's a glowy thing right over here. Okay. Shoot, shoot up. Get up, get up, get up. Why are you going slow? Jump. Pull your freaking bow out. Okay, there. I was pressing the button and it wasn't working. Okay. I should have tested this beforehand. Okay. 
Okay, we got him. Uh, that does not look very healthy. Give me my arrow back. There we go. Got our arrow back. Cool. Uh, can't loot this one, doesn't look like. I don't know if they're all like that, but... Oh shit. Run, 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 run. Come on, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Go. Dude sounds like he's got a real bad case of constipation. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Okay, we're just gonna go out this way. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. They seem real unhappy. They are not having a good time, man. Need to eat more fiber, my dude. There are so many. They don't seem super difficult to take out as long as you... As long as you keep your distance. Which I guess that's pretty much all zombies, isn't it? Those aren't going through. Need to get my arrows back. I can't seem to shoot through these windows. Okay, give me all of my stuff. Oh, they do drop stuff. Okay. Got some bandages or something there. Looks like a turd there. I'm not really sure what that was. God damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Give me my arrows back. Let me check something real quick on the bindings here. Um, let's see. I saw someone playing for a very brief little bit and they were using like an area loot button. I want to see if that is, uh, if that's a thing. Okay, I don't see how to do it. I did see someone looting all on the ground though. So, if you know how to do that, I would love to know. Looked quite useful. All right, we're getting the hell out of here. I mean, I guess we lured them up here, which is good. We took a little bit of damage, but nothing, like, crazy. I don't know where this arrow went. It's just kind of gone now. Oh, it's over here. It does highlight where they are, which is cool. But, yeah, we lost, uh, what, six of our arrows there? Start with 25. I'm assuming I can craft more. Arrow requires feathers, sapling branch, and scrap metal. Um... I'm not sure where I get scrap metal, but... This a tin can of scrap metal, right? Oh, you, you can recycle it. So can I just recycle it in my inventory? Like, can you just break it down right here? I guess you can. If this was, like, rust, you'd have to take it to, um, a place and recycle it. What about this? Like, what do these different icons mean? This recycles into scrap brass. It's pretty heavy. Maybe I can just... Just recycle it? Okay. All right. Cool enough. Um, let's keep going here. I want to go down to that. I want to go down to that um, that squad car and get the gun. This is why we're here after all. I need sapling branches, which I don't know if those are like a special kind of tree, if they look different or something. Does this work? Is this a sapling branch? No, it's just all natural fibers. What about this one? It's a bit big to be a sapling. Probably not. This looks like a sapling. Uh, we got sticks. Yeah, four sapling branches. Okay, so the, the skinnier, small sapling trees. It looks like a sapling, like you would expect it to look. I'm going low and slow here because it's 
nighttime and owls scare me. And, uh... I don't want to attract more of those guys right now. Don't know, there might be more of these guys around here. I'm here. Son, whose blood is that? That wasn't hard to find, was it? I can see the pistol in the trunk. Give me bullets. I dropped the key somewhere nearby. Give me bullets, there we go. I tried to herd him into a basketball court, but the bastards kept climbing the chain link fence. They chased me across the bridge where I opted for a tactical retreat into a school bus. Now, there's a difference between cowering at a school bus and tactically retreating into one. The only thing you need to know about is that I performed the latter. Can I get in here? No, not quite. Okay, uh, so... Find the car keys. Got it. Need to look on the basketball court, the covered bridge, and the bus. Oh man, they could be anywhere on this court. At least the, uh, the guys are, like, leaving me alone now. Oh look, it's a, uh, it's a bird nest thing. So we have feathers, we have sticks, um, and two raw eggs. Now, we just... I just saw that crafting arrows takes... Feathers, yeah, we have everything. Scrap metal, okay, so craft max, go. Do I have any any more scrap metal? That's what I need is scrap metal. Looks like no. I keep eating some berries. How is our how are our stats doing, by the way? Um Okay, our hydration's gone down quite a bit. Our hunger is fine, but our hydration's gone down a little bit. Our morale and our hygiene are still pretty fine. Energy is still fairly okay. So, no need to really worry about too much stuff yet. Mm. Hey, more scrap metal. Okay, so... Let's keep checking trash cans for... There were some nails, I think? Uh, yeah, two nails. Keep checking for scrap metal so we can make some more arrows. I can't imagine that firing a gun is a very good idea normally because... You're going to be attracting even more whenever you fire the gun. I didn't see a keys anywhere on that basketball court, but I didn't look very hard either. I'm gonna gonna admit. Okay, and these guys uh, probably are hostile. That guy is giving off a bit of a um, oops, bit of a uh, smelly looking nasty stuff there. Doesn't look healthy. Come on. Okay, head doesn't explode in that one, whatever. Um, looks like gears, mechanical parts. You better not get up. Okay, they're dead. I'm pretty sure they're dead. These guys are all pale and stuff, but this guy is not pale. This guy is like, he looks healthy, like he get up and probably attack me. I don't think they hit their head. Press F to Lots inspect. Wanderers here. I need to be careful. Wanderers, look, it's me. That guy has a gun, too. Had a gun, I guess I should say. This is different from what we got. We got a couple guns, let me see. Inventory. This is a C1911. I don't think I have any bullets for it, though. And, um... I got a... M9. M9A1. Okay. That we got from, uh, Sen's truck. You better be actually dead, my dude. I shot you, like, several times. Unless I didn't, I missed. Well, okay. Oh, got cans. Seven cans. Holy crap, seven cans. Recycle all of them. I need a scrap metal. You know, this guy's given off that weird aura st oh, no, he's he's dead. He doesn't have a head no more. He's he's dead. He's okay. 
given that these guys are like infected and it's it's a fungal infection, I have to assume that getting hit by that stuff is not good. Like we can get infected if we get hit by it. I wish it showed you what you're eluding whenever you were in that screen. Like it doesn't seem to show you what you're getting whenever you mouse over stuff. Okay, so we're searching through this area for the keys, right? Um I mean, I don't, I don't see any keys. They might be, like, hiding more. It'd be difficult to find them in, like, this area, you know? But, um... There's a school bus, too, so we'll check that as well and see if it's in there. It is pretty dark, though, so... That is a first aid kit. That's nice. Let's see. Restores 100% of your health and wellness over 60 seconds. Stops bleeding, cannot be created, only found. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll put that onto there so we have that ready if we need it. More nails, probably used for building stuff later on. Can I go in the bus? Do I have to crouch? There they are. I see the keys right there. Okay. Got the keys. You're gonna need ammo if you want to use that thing. You could raid the gun safe in my basement. My house is right down the road. It's the one with the pretty hedges. Why are you helping me? Out of the goodness of my charitable heart. What do you think? You have information I need, but that's a conversation for another day. Just don't go dying on me. Man, stop missing. Shit, run! <clears throat> Come on, God, it takes so long to stand up and turn and run. left. Okay, got her. Really, it's really, really... Like, they're easy to take down. They're very easy to take care of whenever... They're at range and stuff, as long as you stay stealth. But man, if they get up, it's pretty bad. Okay, so, um, we have enough stuff to make... More of these, make eight more arrows. There's a lot of them. I don't really want to deal with them right now. Just say, like, what time it is. V for... Oh, there we go. V for vitals. It's, uh, 1... 1.42 a.m., I think. So... They didn't give us a lot of time for this mission. I'm gonna go back, I think, guys. I'm gonna go back. The hell was that? Yeah, we're going back to the safe zone real quick. I'm going to sleep for the night, because it seems like these guys are more active during the daytime. And, uh, assuming I can go back and sleep. I mean, it seemed like I could sleep in the beds before. We need to eventually find a base for ourselves. Mechanical parts. Uh, we might be able to sell some of this stuff, too. Maybe I'll, like, do a couple more houses here and fill up on... What the hell is that? Shoot it. Shoot it with fire. Oh, it's a big old fat bunny rabbit. Got him. That's a big bunny. Got some animal fat, meat in the pelt, and Amy was disgusted by it. You know what? You need to toughen up, Amy. Oh, I guess we have an actual flashlight now. Spark plug. Sure, that'll be useful for later. Alright, there's like an actual basement here. This one has stuff in it. I don't know what I'm looting. I'm just going to take everything. We'll sort it out later. 
or when I get full when I have no more room. Look like a battery and um, first aid kit there is pretty good. Maybe I'll find something useful. Okay, I think that's it in the basement. Oop, oh, missed this. Yeah, okay, let's go up. I don't think I need to have this, uh... Come on, gather. I don't see any enemies in the building here, so... I think we're fairly safe. Hmm. Looks like a 9-volt battery. What's in here? Duct tape. More insect repellent, I think. Some kind of... Okay, thin wire. It does show me on the right. Random tin can. Hey, you know what? I'll take all the tin cans I can get. we got to recycle those. I don't know if they're used for anything else, but I'm recycling them all into um, stuff to make arrows. You get more saplings and stuff too. Arrows seem to be pretty useful. Let's see. More food. Metal plate. We melted down for metal scraps. Okay. Shat's creamy peanut butter. Maybe oh, I'll okay. Find something useful. Did I just get some? Radiation? Heard like a rad counter. I don't know. Alright, we've gone through all the stuff. Are we done? Have not gone upstairs yet. Or back through here. Do I need like a hatchet or something to, to knock through this? Can I can I make a um improvised axe? I can, I can make one. Okay, let's make one. It takes 50 seconds. I'll see if I can hack this door down with my axe once I make it in a second here. Okay, got everything over here. Let's go upstairs real quick while our axe is being crafted. I mean, this area seems pretty safe, like nothing's bothering anything over here. I mean, I guess stuff could wander in here, but so far it doesn't seem too bad. I'm sure me shining a bright light out the window doesn't help anything, but it's a hairdryer. Sometimes you don't immediately see the mouse over thing for stuff. Like, you have to really focus on it a bit before you can see it. Um... I think there is sleeping in this game. There's a sleeping bag we can make. This requires cloth and natural twine. Okay, we can make natural twine from fibers. I need ten of these. Crafts five. So I just need to make two of these. And that should be all I need for that. And then we need more cloth. need, like, a bunch of these. Um, like, five more of those. Let's see if I can make a sleeping bag. And if I can actually sleep in the sleeping bag if I play it down somewhere. That would be handy. That way we can just sleep here and wait for the night to pass and not have to go back immediately. Not really sure, though. Our uh, axe, did that finish? We're almost full on weight, too, so I need to consider that. Um, character... Okay, yeah, there's a melee weapon is number three. So we've got an axe now. Oh, there we go. Well, that's not working. It takes up a lot of uh, of our energy too. Speaking of which, need to make need to eat some more berries. Just restore our energy, or do we just need to sleep. It looks like that yellow bar is uh, our like. It's how tired we are. Come on, pull up your vitals. Yeah, it's how tired we are, and um, it goes goes down over time and we just have to sleep to replenish it it seems like okay so that didn't work we've gone upstairs 
the other thing upstairs. I think, okay, yeah, I think we're done here. Um, I don't know, probably... Ooh, yeah, don't think I want to run into that. That thing is, is nasty looking. I'm assuming that's bad news. Very, very bad news. Can I chop down a tree with my axe? I can indeed. I'm assuming this makes a lot of noise and I shouldn't be doing it, though. What about this? Oh, I got 20 sapling branches using the axe on this thing. So, this harvests stuff way faster. Like, a lot faster. I don't want to get too close to this thing, but... I'm getting a lot of sapling branches. Okay, so we can craft a whole bunch more arrows now. Arrow... Oh, I'm missing feathers now. Okay, so I gotta find more... more, uh... bird nests. Alright, fair enough. I'll keep an eye out for those. Some free cloth mm. there. Picking lock. We failed. Really? Hope I can craft lock picks or maybe buy them. Oh, there's a whole bunch of good shit in here. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'm gonna take it all. Um, hacksaw, can opener, industrial respirator, filter. Okay, so maybe there are areas that are like really badly in infected and we have to use a respirator or else we get infection by going in. Kind of like a radiation mechanic, but you know, instead of, instead of radiation, it's just infection. That makes sense. Uh, let me see here. Can I break any of this stuff down? Can be used for crafting or repairing items. Recycles to plastic and electronics. Can sort by weight here to see what's really heavy. Animal fat's the heaviest thing and, is, and tarp is, is heavy too. Oh yeah, I, I was going to make a, um, a sleeping bag. I have the stuff. Let's do it. I want to see if I can place this down inside somewhere and just sleep for the night. Can also make a, um, a fire pit. I'm assuming we can probably cook up that rabbit if I had... Stuff for that. I need kindling, which we can create, and I need stones, which we probably have to find some stones. Um, it's actually becoming daytime already. Let's switch over back to my bow. I'm not really... I don't think using melee on those guys would be a very good idea, considering that they explode. Maybe once we have a respirator, we could switch to melee, but I mean, even then, they'd be... I don't know. It seems like a bad idea. Although... I don't need saplings that badly. I want to look for, um, some rocks. That's not a rock. All kinds of stuff to loot around here as well. Well, first things first, let me see if I can go in here and plop down... A sleeping bag. I want to see if I can sleep, if that's an option. Oh, this is just the other side of that. I, I, I already knew how to get over here. I'm a moron. There was no reason to try to hack down that door. I'm Guys, I'm telling you, I am so spatially unaware it's not even funny. Okay, can I place down my sleeping bag? Put that on seven. Uh, let's see. I might need to build a shelter before I do this, which I'm not sure. They set your respawn location. Okay, I don't know if I can actually sleep in one of those anyway. Okay. Um, all right, well, I... I, I guess we're, it's daytime now, so we can go over to Sheriff Sen's house. And, uh, get the ammo from his safe, I think he said. But I think we're going to do that in the next episode. So, guys, leave a like if you're enjoying this series, if you want to see more of it. I am probably going to make more of it, and uh, if you don't like it, then it's just too bad. Uh, but, uh, just don't watch it, I guess. But, uh, I'm enjoying it so far, and I want to see more about the story and stuff, and how far they've gotten in the game. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.